Hi, I'm Chris Martirano here with American Music and Sound, and we're at the Studio Logic portion of the booth here at American Music and Sound, and I'm showing you the new Studio Logic Mix Face. The Studio Logic Mix Face is a general purpose controller featuring nine sliders, eight buttons, eight encoders, but you have multiple scenes. So we can step between one scene and another, and we have then 16 sliders, 16 buttons, 16 knobs. The device can control your DAW, you have full transport controls, including the ability to set markers and jump between markers, the ability to solo, mute, record, and also select a track on the fly, which we'll be looking at in a second. And then you have the ability to toggle between controlling your DAW and actually controlling your virtual instruments. There's also Bluetooth supported, so you can use this with your iOS device to control your iPad directly through Bluetooth. There's a host input, so you can hook up a keyboard. In this case, we're using the SL88 Grand, or this is the 73. Uh, and so you can input your keyboard. You can come out of the device. In this case, I'm going to an interface to control digital performer. Or you can also use Bluetooth, as I said, to control your iOS device. So right now, if I just start using my digital performer, I can select. It's mapped automatically to different devices, different uh, iOS, or I'm sorry, different DAW devices. So if I go to my global settings, I can see right now the ones that are supported. We have Digital Performer, Ableton Live, Studio One, Reason, Logic, GarageBand, Pro Tools, Cubase. So they really did a nice job of supporting a lot of the DAWs auto automatically mapped. So I'm just going to hit start and we'll play a little bit of a sequence up here on the screen. We have a girl, one of the daughters of one of the programmers here singing. And I'm just going to do a little mixing. So here I know some vocals come up on channel one. Here's our global volume. And if we look at our menu down here in Performer, we can see it responding directly. If I decide I want to solo her track, I can hit solo down here on the buttons. When I left, I thought I would be stronger. But in fact, it took away my energy. How to tell you that I could not really see beyond the gates. So now we're just here on the piano. I can pan the piano. I can solo her voice. I have to find what track she's on because I'm not looking here. It's a little blocked with the uh, screen up here. But at any rate, so if I decide I want to adjust the piano module down here, I'll pull it up where we can see the parameters changing. So you can see I'm moving the equalizer, the highs, and then we have some controls moving the dynamic response. I can, my transport is still working so I can stop. I can start again. I can take it out of solo, going back here. It don't hold on, it's not coming back. If I kept a hold, so it's very, very powerful longer. and a very small package. It's also battery operated, so you can run it off of batteries. Say and that's new from Studio Logic here at NAM 2019. Nice.